Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 1st to the 15th, 2023 money and career reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, and it's getting me seen by the YouTube algorithm, so thank you all so very much. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy. Ooh, no, <laughs> this one right here. Let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading. And I'm just hearing also, remember the little things, okay? The little things, the birds are singing outside the window right now. And it's like those little things, those little things that we usually, you know, either have something playing in our ears or we're just like, we just overlook it. Spirit is really saying here during this time to increase our productivity, our, our, our overall happiness. Remember the little things and embrace the little things. So our, yeah, our message here with the Princess of Cups, our emotions can kind of be all over the place right now. We can also be dealing with somebody who is rather reactionary. I would say that somebody is a, a female or, you know, has very feminine energy to them. And this person is just, they're just very reactionary. And this is going to be something that we're looking at. And we're like, why, you know, why are we doing this? Like, why are we being pulled into their chaos? Just, yeah, this person is also very young. And again, they might not actually be physically young. But the way they react to things, the way they handle things, you're just like, dude, like, <laughs> what are you doing? Like, calm down. Like, it's not that big a deal. But to this person, everything is a huge deal. And if you get on that that roller coaster with them, you're not going to get off of it. it or it's going to be very tricky to get off of it. And that's really going to bring down your productivity. It's going to bring down your finances because you'll find that you're either stress spending or you know, they always have to be doing something new. So you have to try and keep up with them. Just be aware of that. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading. And here we have magical reversed. We're not seeing the magical, you know, essence, beauty, you know, power in our world all the time. And this is going to be a time where we need to slow it down. And we need to see that magical, you know, just brilliance. There's a sense of it's all becoming like old routine or we're so stressed out or we're so like focused on things that we're letting all the magic go. So just be aware of this. We need to call that magic back. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So it's very interesting is that these money and career readings have been very, I want to say blunt with people lately. And I know, you know, getting into them again, we might be thinking, oh, well, couldn't you make them happier spirit? You know, couldn't you give us a little bit more of a well done type of energy? Because we have the page of cups coming through. Again, we have the page of cups to be mindful of. And here there's an emotional gift that we can't receive right now. It's just like we're, we're too much on overload emotionally, our cup is dry. And what Spirit is saying, in order to make the money that we want, in order to be the success that we want to be, we have to start taking care of ourselves. And I mean, I know myself included, most definitely, 
there's a sense of like, well, if I just push it, right, you don't need to sleep, right? That saying you can sleep when you're dead type of thing. And I remember having bosses that would always be like, oh, I only get like four hours of sleep or three hours of sleep and I'm just fine. And, you know, all that stuff and internalizing it and making it think like, okay, if I take care of me, then in some way I'm weak. And that's what spirit is saying here. You know, that's actually a very childish mentality to have. So when we idolize these people who don't prioritize their own health, that's not healthy for us. And so here there is, there's a need to take care of us. There's a need to slow things down, which I'm seeing you warring with because there's a sense of like, no, I have to speed things up. You know, I have to be on it. I have to be on it. But with the seven of pentacles, you know, we have blessings coming in. Like that patience, that sense of wait till our harvest comes in. All the harvest is, is here. You know, there's something here that we've been waiting for. There's something that we're collecting. There's something here that it's like, oh, well, I needed this. I don't know if you're starting a new job or if you're, you know, getting that contract that you wanted or there's, you know, just something here that you were always curious about and you feel like, oh, okay, I'm finally able to step into that energy, step into that power. And by embracing this and utilizing this, you're going to see that, you know, more doors start to open to you. This isn't a time where we just kind of like step back and say, okay, for the beginning of June, the first half of June, you know, I just have to go calmly and quietly. It's like, no, I'm getting what I want, but I have to remember that in getting what I want, I can throw myself in 150, you know, 200%, which is great, but also am I taking care of me or am I becoming so focused and so like militant with myself? that I can't see anything else. New new opportunities that will be coming because they will be because you're going to have one thing fall in your lap or one thing kind of come to fruition and then that's just going to open up a door for you. So be aware of this during this time. It's not a time though with the universe reversed. It's not a time though of like getting out there and doing everything. It's like do one thing really well. And then you'll see you do that one thing really well and people are like, wow, well, they do that one thing really well. Here's the other thing. And here's the other thing. Or this opportunity opens up or this person starts talking to you. And you're going to see that you start impressing people, Libra. <laughs> and that, that's lovely. And it doesn't have to be, you know, you could be watching this. And you could be saying, oh, well, I don't work. Or I, I just stay at home and take care of the kids. Or I'm retired. And it's like, you still work. Like you still have something in your life that is valuable to you. And taking care of kids, oh my gosh, that's so hard. <laughs> I'm not even, I mean, I laugh just because we think, oh, it's so easy. No, my mom raised six kids. I don't know anybody who didn't work as hard as she did. You know, nobody can keep up. Even now I look at her and I'm like, how do you, how do you keep on, you know, how did you do this? It's just, it's mind boggling. Here with the Ace of Cups, reverse, your cup isn't full. There's something here about emotionally, you could just be going through a little bit of blue periods during this time where you just feel a little bit sad, a little bit overwhelmed but you're still going to be giving to everybody because your focus is like, okay, let's get that money in. You know, let's get things building. Let's get things going. And that's great. But if you don't start taking, taking care of you and this isn't like, you know, take a cruise or do anything big because I see it like you don't have the time for that right now. If you do, that's awesome. You know, utilize it. But I really see you being in the middle of, you know, pushing forward with things, getting things done, you know, looking at things differently. So here, when you're not filling up your own cup or when your cup just feels empty, we need to stop and do little things that bring us joy, little things that propel us forward. And that's going to be so important because we can feel rather naive in certain situations or very new to certain things. People are going to be trusting us. They're like, of course you can handle this. Of course you got this. And we're going to be like, are you kidding me? Like, are you sure? This is also water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer where we have those energies in our chart, we might not be as prone to wanting to learn, but we can also find that whatever those rule over, we can find ourselves being emotionally a bit overwhelmed. So being aware of that is also going to be very important for us. There's a sense here that you are getting information in like an unlikely way. It could be while you're, you know, reading a book or watching a movie or playing a video game or something like that. I just see it like you're doing something and it's totally taking your attention somewhere else and you'll get an idea and you'll be like, oh, that's the answer. And you'll think, oh, that's stupid. And then you'll just push forward. So listen to that, okay? With the four of swords, there's a part of you that is start starting to awaken, a part that we've like shut away, fallen asleep. It's like, okay, you know, I just still need to move forward. 
that's fine. When we rest, we have on our armor. We're never really going to let ourselves relax or let, let ourselves release. And that's going to be something very important to see during this time. It's like when you're sleeping, do you wake up feeling recharged? You know, and also check your watch if you have one to see, okay, what's the quality of my sleep? How did I sleep? How do I feel? And start to look at that. You know, what did I do the day before? What am I doing today? Type of deal. You have your, your guardian angels, your spirit guides, you have them right around you. And that is an absolutely beautiful thing. We need to utilize that. And during this time, we can kind of be really not into the spiritual or the whimsical. And it's like, no, prioritize this. Prioritize this for you because Libra, it puts you into balance. You need the practical and the spiritual in balance with yourself. It's not always just like, oh, emotionally, I have to be balanced or financially, I have to be balanced. It's like spiritually and, you know, and practically, I have to be balanced. And that's going to be something that if we really start to utilize during this time, it will also bring in more wealth, more prosperity to us because people will look at us and say, I don't know why, but I trust that person. Like, I don't know why, but I think you can handle this type of deal. And then that starts to open up things. The part of you that you have slumbering is awakening. And so we can be thinking like, oh, well, what do I know about this? Or, you know, oh, I, I don't have any talents here. And then we start to see ourselves, you know, embracing our talents, embracing what we desire, embracing what we want, and being rather surprised. It leads us then to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. And it's the two of wands. Doors are closing. You know, as much as we have things coming to us, like it's not a time to be patient and just to wait. We have things coming to us. We have ourselves, you know, actively pursuing what we want and, you know, making big decisions, we're going to see some doors that we thought were open or some things that we thought were a given, a shoe in they're not coming to fruition. We cannot be stopped by this because spirits like, listen, embrace my journey, embrace how I want you to walk this road, and you'll be shocked at where you wind up. It brings us then to our subconscious spirit message, and this is create reverse. You need to give yourself time to be creative. If you don't give yourself time to be creative during this time, Libra, you're going to feel very unfulfilled. So be aware of that. We then have our subconscious tarot message, which is the nine of pentacles. Celebrate your wins. You know, the future holds hard work. The past was a lot of work, but where you stand right now, celebrate your wins. Be mindful and be prudent with your money. Okay, that's going to be important. Don't think, oh my gosh, you know, now that I have this bit of savings or now that I have this, it's just like rock and roll time type of thing. Be, be prudent with your money. Be prudent with what you desire. Don't get caught up in the future because that's going to be really, really easy subconsciously during this time too, where like you're not realizing it, but all of a sudden you're always thinking like five years down the road, five years down the road type of thing. Make sure you have things secure for five years down the road, but really live in the now and embrace that power and embrace that beauty. Okay. All right, Libra. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Walking forward in peace and in harmony, Libra. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. Have a wonderful first half of June, financially and business-wise. I love you all. God bless. Bye.